Okay, we're picking this up again live. I'm just going to go ahead and back in here. And uh, we did manage to get some movement to the screw after pre-soaking. And the key is to make sure you you join this to the adjacent tooth. Now, let, let me get in. Look at that. It has some nice natural little grooves I could grab onto. So we're going to go counterclockwise rotation. Always counterclockwise. Stay in the middle. If we have a screw that's freed up, what a great thing. Then we can take the bonding off. Well, you can see how that screw was worn on one side, right? That's worn on one side. That's worn for a reason. That means the operator was trying to go in there and desperately trying to remove it. But it was deviating off to one side. Didn't really have a way of centering. We're developing centering. Suction, please. We're, we're actually developing some centering uh, instruments right here. I'm going to give you a little composite. Uh, just a little bit. It's just some some of the, the centering um, technology. It's not enough of it out there. We have to develop some of it ourselves. So that's why we we're logging in cases. We're really trying to develop a system to help our patients out, so that they don't have to go through unnecessary surgery. Especially, you know, if uh, you have to think too. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna use some water here because it, it it was coming out. Now it stopped a little bit. So let's let's just get it lubricated with some water, and we'll rinse it out thoroughly. It's probably just bio burden. I really don't want to put any more solution in there if I don't have to. So, because uh, you know, it's it's. It dissolves tartar. There it comes. It just bound it up. So there's probably lots of bio burden in there, calculus, all kinds of. Uh, let me get you in focus here. Sorry if you were out of focus. There's our screw. So it's a gold tight screw. And again, somebody asked me about that. I'm used to seeing titanium without a gold, but this one's got a gold tight. It's soft, extremely soft. Um, that's what makes it so hard to tighten because it's soft to the screw head. My God, you got to hand tighten that. And uh, you think you're tightening it, but you're not. You're stripping the top of it. So you, you're getting it out. I just take my time, you know. I feel like, you know, we... We did what we were supposed to do. We can't always build the confidence because it's unknown. You know, we don't know what's going on in there. We try to say, you know, we, there are percentages, but what are they? You know, it's still a developmental thing. People are saying, well, what's what's the odds of success rates here? What do we? I don't think there's an answer. You know, don't be in a hurry. When it happens, try to get good magnification, number one. Join that tooth to the adjacent tooth. That's the first step. So that uh, you don't get stuck with uh, a real problem. Increase the stability. So now what, what's happening, now the head is coming up. And there's something preventing the head from coming up out. And that could be the angle. Of the of the the screw entry hole itself, the access hole, that could be preventing it. All right, there may be material there down underneath that's caught. So we're going to rinse it again. So you don't want to force it. See, it's almost out. You don't want to force it. So again, you have to a little patience here. Then just get in the middle. Don't don't use the sides. I just try to see if we can get it to move again. Ever so close here. All right. I know we we'll rinse that piece. That's a little piece of metal that came off, but. So I'm going to take a look straight down and see what the, what's the issue. It's it's almost out. It's just uh, it's a little piece at the top that's holding it. It could be just a little bit of composite. That's all we're looking at. 
There it goes. There it goes. Let's let's get this out, huh? It's got a little mind of its own. <laughs> Ever hear that saying, you know, you got the mind of your own? I think some of these have it's either the screw, the abutment, or the implant, you know. I don't know. This one's just telling us all the way because I'm still unthreading it. This has got to be a screw that just needs to come out and we need to replace it. So once it's out, I'm still going out of here. Once it's out, I'll, I'll be cleaning everything. You, you name it, I'll clean it. I'll clean the, the, the screw access hole, the crown, the abutment gets cleaned, the fixture gets cleaned, everything gets cleaned meticulously. We want to be able to get it so clean we can read the serial numbers on it. Come on. See how it wants to go on an angle? So the laboratory, when they made this, you know, you got the screw going in. Sometimes you get a little bit of deviation. Um, to see how much distance on this side. Look at that compared to the other side. So it wants to come out this way, but the hole is made in the opposite. And the head, you know, so... You know, we have nothing to hold on to, so I'm just basically taking a small little instrument and rotating. So it's a little time consuming. That's fine. So we'll rinse it again. So we made a full rotation there. That was good. It wasn't like we stopped. We rotated it a, another full rotation, so that's good. So I think once the head comes up over the peak, it'll come out very easily. All right. So oh, we'll nice and easy. The other thing that we could possibly do at this point is just get rid of the bonding and then everything should come out, you know. So that's the other. Uh, just about putting everybody to sleep right now. I'm trying to get this out. Okay. There we go. That's a common. And the other thing, it may be already out. It's just it could be one of these screws that stays in the abutment, you know, I didn't, you never know. In other words, we'll see in one more rotation, if it doesn't come out, then it's probably one of those type, and then we can just do that in the lab, take the crown off. Um, yeah, no, we're, you're going to get your tooth today. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah. My lab, my little lab in the back, I got a little processing. See the screw? It, it's loose. Um, it may be already re unthreaded. You know, it's already out. It's just sitting there. So um, it's you know it's different. Other screws they pop out are easy. This one's kind of oblong. So I'm gonna say we'll we'll go one more rotation, and if we don't come a above the porcelain surface, then more than likely. Um, it's out, and I just have to take the crown and the abutment. Everything will just slide right out of her mouth. And then she'll have a nice little break for a minute or two while I go clean this up. There it comes. Yeah. That. It is coming up above, so... It's still on its threaded axis. We're going slow because I don't want to force anything. If it's still threading and I take the bonding off, I don't have anything to hold on to to get this out. I'd have to, and then we'll have like a marble flying around in here. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to rinse this again. 
So as, as we're rinsing, I'm going to give her a break and we'll come back with probably the screw just to show you. Okay. Take a break.